Hey everyone, how are you? I hope all is well and everybody's having a great, blessed, productive day. Lately, I've been wanting to be consistent in sharing tips and my thoughts on domestic violence and many other issues that people deal with or people don't understand. Today, I wanted to talk about being sensitive to victims and survivors. And one thing I always tend to see that victims and survivors deal with and why they become so fearful in sharing their experience. Many times people share with you what their abuser has done and it's happened to me in several situations where you vent and you open up about the experience that you that you went through and you have people that you're under the impression that they sympathize with you and they're they're sorry about the pain that you went through but when you reveal the pain to them in the process of what you went through you tend to see them hanging out with the abuser still in communication with the abuser doing things like the abuser never committed a horrendous act let me explain to you what that does to a person that's been abused what they see when you do that one you're re-victimizing the victim sometimes that may trigger the trauma not only that you're allowing them to relive that moment this person has went through a violation of trust a breach of trust so if they see somebody that they confided in about what they endured with the person that caused them to endure it what do you think that does to them a lot of people may not see it like that and I'm sharing with you my experience I remember going through a situation and I remember when I was going through my domestic violence situation there were people that I confided with at the time that I thought were friends that I thought cared that I thought had my best interests at heart but let me explain to you what happened in the process in time they show their true colors the same ones that were reporting to me that, oh, hey, I saw I saw your your abuser, the person that, that did that to you. I saw them at this place. Or, hey, so-and-so did this. This is what they're saying about you. But when it came down to it, when it came down to the knit and grit, they would always expose themselves. I would always see them hanging with them at events, celebrating with them. And let me explain to you what that does. At that moment, by you doing that, that makes the victim feel like the very thing that they told you that you don't believe them. I'm going to tell you straight up. If I know you and I find out you doing that, I'm checking you. And not only am I che I'm checking you, nine times out of ten, I may kind of step back and not even deal with you no more me being a survivor i don't really play about stuff like that i don't hang around people that do stuff like that to me that is in my honest opinion i'm talking about for myself to me being around somebody that's done it is is me agreeing to narcissistic behavior it's making it look like i am a narcissist by association and you know and that's and that's basically what it is when you guys hang around that person knowing what that person did that mean you are a narcissist by association you basically saying the victim made up a story they fabricated what they poured their heart out to you and told you what happened and it, it and it's like you take no regard for their feelings you take no regard that they may see you interacting with the person nor did you give them an explanation you know, and this is why survivors fear coming forward every time. Because this is stuff that they deal with. A lot of times they deal with the stuff, oh, if, it, if it's happening, why, why didn't so-and-so speak up? 
And a lot of times they do speak up. But when they do speak up, this is what happens. Some of y'all play both sides of the fence. Y'all don't want to, you know what I'm saying, feel like you're taking sides. But at this point, man, right is right and wrong is wrong. You got to pick or choose. And sometimes picking the right side ain't going to be easy. But it's necessary. And I don't think people understand when you tend to take that side of the narcissist, the abuser, that in itself speaks entirely of who you are. That means you already carry the character of a narcissist. That means this is the type of stuff you condone. This is the stuff that you do because in reality, you don't find anything wrong with somebody being abused. So take this as a lesson. If somebody ever confides to you about being abused or being in a situation that, that physically and emotionally tore them apart, y'all got to use some discernment, man. And sometimes it may not even be that situation of using discernment sometimes God will allow you to see the character of that person to disconnect because sometimes these people they tend to be wishy-washy and kind of go where the boat goes they flow with however which way people flow and these are the people that are not happy with themselves why they're not happy with themselves because it's hard for them to find people that like them they kind of have this need to want to be liked and they don't care if the person is wrong for them or if the person is evil they just want to be like them the kind of people to stay away from because they're the ones that won't use common sense or discern when to stay away from people like that because people like that carry a spirit i wouldn't even want to be surrounded by a narcissist i wouldn't so take in mind you know how it would make people feel i'm not gonna lie when i experienced that it clearly allowed me to see who to disconnect myself from who i needed to be around and how god revealed to me that people were only really trying to find out what was going on with me so they can go report back to what's going on with that person so keep in mind there's many ways you can re-victimize a victim. Re-victimization isn't necessarily going back and telling um, and, and, and lying on the victim and saying the victim never went through that. Sometimes it can just be you being around the attacker, the physical abuser, knowing that the victim had already expressed to you what took place. So now you're dismissing their claims. That's, a, that's also another form of re-victimization. So for any, you know, just continue following me for more tips, um, more advocacy, more, more inside death, more heart to heart talk with me on domestic violence and the many issues we endure in the community. Be blessed.